Hey guys, so I was just laying in bed because you guys know I have insomnia. <laughs> so I just lay here with my dodgy angles. Um, and someone asked me about um, reoccurring dreams and dreaming of their ex and what does it mean? Well, reoccurring dreams can be something you haven't dealt with in your, you know, current waking life. Um, so your subconscious is trying to sort out that trauma when you're sleeping. Now, a lot of the time I get asked, like, why am I dreaming of my ex? Um, and it depends, really, what the dreams are about, right? Some people dream of their ex with somebody else in their dreams. And that can be your subconscious trying to tell you that your ex has moved on and is trying to get your conscious mind to um, accept what your subconscious knows. Maybe even you already knew that, right? But sometimes even though we know it, it's hard to accept. So that can be one of the reasons. Um, if your ex is coming to you in a dream and talking to you, um, you may feel like there's things left unsaid between you both. Um, I'm often asked um, if I'm dreaming of my ex, um, does that mean they're thinking of me? Um, no, in the short answer, um, because, you know, a thought um, is an electric electric frequency so you'll feel feel that in your waking you know life in your conscious life um you can generally start to think about them or you know a change in the magnetic field you'll feel that um so in short does it mean that your ex is thinking about you no you'll know when your ex is thinking about you um, in your waking life or anybody's thinking about you, they could just randomly pop into your head. Um, so what if, you know, you're having a reoccurring dream about somebody who hasn't been in your life for a long time? Well, um, this can be because you're trying to deal with some sort of trauma in your current waking life. Um, and maybe you're trying to go back to a time you was happier. Um, and it's something that you haven't dealt with. So this dream keeps coming back to you. Your subconscious keeps trying to get you to um, visit this scenario. Or let's say when we're dreaming of an ex and you're dreaming of happier times together and you want to go back there. For some, it can be that um, losing them was so traumatic in your waking life that we escaped to our, you know, dream world with them. Our sub subconscious is trying to bring us some peace of mind and um, take us back to a place where we're happier. I think that's more likely if you have like just broken up in the last six months to a year. Um, you might be still missing them. That's a possibility why you're dreaming about them because you might even not be admitting to yourself, okay, I miss them or, you know, something like that. And it's just a like a place where you can escape, right? Um, so, seeing as we're in bed, let's have bedroom chat, right? <laughs> Insomnia. Uh, don't know where you lot was going, but I was talking about not being able to sleep. Um, so, what causes it? 
I mean, for me, I, I'll hit like certain times of the month. Um, maybe it'll be a full moon. Right now, we're in this uh, Leo new moon. Um, so it can be that, you know, I'm getting lots of downloads and lots of messages. Um, so get a notepad and pen, same as with your dreams. Write down these ideas that are coming to you right now. Um, I remember I was having lots of like downloads, I call them, lots of ideas um, to make t-shirts and things like that. And I was like, where does this come from? I'm not a t-shirt designer. I'm not like very creative or anything like that. But we are made in the image of our creator So we do have that creative spark within us but really clothes haven't been a thing that i've been interested in creating when i was probably little i used to draw dresses and wedding dresses but i also used to draw cars i don't know um you know in the 80s that night rider car <laughs> with the lights up yeah i was just a normal kid um, so these ideas that was coming to me, I did draw them all down, but I never really did anything with them. Um, maybe you could do the same and maybe you could do something with it. I often think as well that we're supposed to be awake at certain times of the year, you know, philosophy, <laughs> can't even talk. <laughs> um you know, brainstorming and thinking up ideas under the stars with people, like-minded people, our soul family, we're supposed to be um, thinking outside of the box. I mean, I was just thinking today, why are so many people content with the, you know, I go to bed, I wake up, I work, I go to bed, I work up, and they're not thinking like why I'm I'm always thinking why are we here what what's our calling what are we meant to do what should we be doing next and I may even have one idea or perception of why we're here and then it'll expand or it'll change and it'll grow and it doesn't mean we're hypocritical it means you know, we're growing and changing and thinking and that's what I believe we're supposed to be doing and this is what I often try to get across, like a change in our perspective, like this ever awakening uh, life that we're going through and I guess that's why I'm awake <laughs> with the um, insomnia a lot of people will say to me, get some sleeping tablets and things like that. Um, I don't really think I need them. I now go to sleep when I feel tired. So some, I'll go to sleep during the day if I feel tired. Um, like I said, I just believe like it's within us. It's in our soul. It's like written. It's written in our DNA, it's written in the stars, um, you know, like I said, the moon cycle can affect us, we are 90% water and the moon affects the water, so of course it'll affect us, you guys may know a lady who gets crazy at a certain time of month, <laughs> or extra emotional, um, but yeah, so again, I'm just thinking out loud with you guys, um, maybe I should have stuck it on a live and you guys could have thought out loud with me and gave me some of your thoughts and your feelings and your perceptions and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just lying here in bed um, and mulling over questions that I get asked a lot and I just wondered what's your thoughts on um, somebody or thinking about you? Do, you, do you know when they think about you, 
Um, especially if they're like obsessing about you with the Eight of Swords, you'll definitely feel that. You'll be like, I have not thought of this person in years and now they're in my mind every two minutes. Um, you know, I think when it's not somebody we're so focused on, um, it can be that we will bump into them and be like, I was just thinking about you. Yeah, I don't suppose you guys really want to watch me lie here thinking out loud. Um, but for those of you that do want to think out loud with me, uh, go ahead. I'll be in the comment section. Um, why do you think, what is your reoccurring dream? Maybe you could comment it and we could think about it together.